Two Senate Republicans released a report saying if a cap-and-trade bill becomes law, it would devastate two industries in particular. Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan is back from Capitol Hill where the report was released, and so these are two very big industries, farming and trucking we're talking about. Yes, yeah, Susan, and it was commissioned by Senator Kit Bond of Missouri and Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson of Texas, both Republicans, and both saying cap-and-trade is nothing more than a hidden tax. The name of the report gives away the ending. Climate change legislation, a $3.6 trillion gas tax. Senators Bond and Hutchinson taking a look at how a waxman Markey type of bill will affect two icons of American life, the trucker and the farmer. Saying carbon-based fuels are essential to their livelihood and if the price of gasoline and diesel goes up, the two industries will have no choice but to pass the cost on the consumers. When we go buy parts, when we buy supplies, there's always a fuel surcharge or a fuel cost. And those, those multiply the, the increasing cost. And that means we have to absorb all these costs in our bottom line. The $3.6 trillion number came from the price refiners would have to pay in a cap and trade system, then passing the increase of costs onto farmers, truckers, and airlines. The analysis for the report was done by Boston-based CRA International. The two Republican senators say every American will feel double the impact because they will have to pay both the increased price of the product on the shelf as well as their own gasoline bill to drive to the store to purchase the item. But Senator Bond says when the American people hear about what he calls a hidden gas tax, cap-and-trade legislation will be defeated. Let me just sum it up. This cap and trade is a turkey, and I don't care how many uh, how many gigas you put on it, that baby's never going to fly. <laughs> now, all these numbers were based on the Waxman Markey bill, not the Kerry Boxer legislation, because the two Republican senators claim details of the Kerry Boxer legislation were left out, so analysis like this couldn't be performed. Susan. Okay, so we hear a lot from the Republicans about what they don't like. Did these two senators um, offer any solutions, any alternatives? Yeah, they did. They said they want to see climate change legislation, in their words, to uh, cut, cut taxes, not raise them. Now, the two senators say if Congress wants clean energy to compete with fossil fuels, the goal should be help to lower the price of biofuels, wind, geothermal and solar, not raising the price of fossil fuels. And they say this can be done by lowering or eliminating taxes on clean energy. Susan? All right, Lee Patrick Sullivan, thank you.